you might be able to tell, I have a little bit of a denim problem. <laughs> yeah, I own a lot of denim. I like jeans. Today, we are going to be going through all of these, trying all of them on for you guys on camera. Probably gonna do a voiceover for the actual try-on portion because this is going to be a massive video. I mean, do you see how many pairs of jeans we have to try on? I've got patterned ones, I've got corduroy ones, I've got tons of black ones, I've got tons of blue jeans. I have so many jeans. Why? Um, so today we're gonna be trying all of them on. I might be decluttering some. I actually don't know yet um, Who knows maybe these all are going to fit and look super different and serve a different purpose Probably not. Let's be real <laughs> and, um, Yeah, so thank you for watching if you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe to the channel I would really appreciate it and without further ado, let's just jump right on in and start trying on some denim Okay, so we are just winging this voiceover. I do not have a script or anything. I am just going to talk out of my ass, which you are currently looking at, in a beautiful pair of American Eagle mom jeans. These are the stretch denim. They are a tiny bit too stretchy, maybe a bit big. I'm not really sure, but I actually really like these. These are my newest pair of favorite, not my newest pair of jeans. I have thrifted jeans more recently than this, but these are my favorite pair of like new jeans that I bought in a store. And they are also sort of a more recent favorite just in my collection because I've gotten really into ripped jeans again when I previously was not. So I really like these, these are staying. This is practically vintage at this point, and by vintage, I mean these were purchased at a love culture back when that existed, and I wanted to leave this part in because I thought it was funny, um, because <laughs> I'm literally trying to put ripped jeans on, on camera, with these, like, thick little shorts on underneath. Like, th these aren't underwear, by the way, these are little, like, dance shorts. Um, I'm not a dancer, but I do do plenty of dancing in this video, um, so just wait for that. Um, but these are by the brand Clio. I don't even know if that exists anymore since Love Culture passed away <laughs> God knows when. These are super ripped up and I kind of like it, and even though they're skinny jeans and I don't wear skinny jeans super often anymore, um, I know that they will come back into fashion in probably five years so despite them not being super trendy i'm probably going to end up keeping these because let's be honest i love a good skinny jeans moment um i am in my mid-20s i am a millennial so this is the cross that i bear <laughs> these pants are really cute i got these on clearance at an express um sometime over the course of the pandemic not even sure when i really like the little ankle details how like most of the denim is like this cool light wash and then there's sort of like a medium dark wash at the bottom with sort of like this acid wash effect and of course i like a good distressed jean especially nowadays i really like how these fit how they are sort of a like interesting they like taper in and then they come back out at the ankle so they're not a skinny jean but they are not a like straight or wide leg either they're sort of a nice mix of the two and here's a cute little jig um that i'm doing i do a lot of jigs in this video just i'm just warning you there's a lot of that so if you don't like it bye bye <laughs> Just another shot of the bootay. I really like these jeans. These are definitely staying within my collection. These are a favorite. This is another pair. I believe these are either, these are either Gap or um, American Eagle. I am fairly certain these are American Eagle. I can see from the tag. <laughs> <laughs> these are cute too. These are again a skinny jean fit. These are again a nice stretchy denim. I do like these as well. I do like a good rip jeans. I'm not sure if these ones will make the cut necessarily. I'm not too crazy about the ankle on these. The distressing is fun, but I don't know if it'll last too much longer in my collection. 
These are a pair of Levi's. These are men's Levi's that I thrifted and chopped the bottoms off of. Clearly, um, this was for a short king because I did not trim these a ton. I just trimmed the hemline off, basically, and um, this is what I was left with, which I don't mind. I don't mind a higher jean. Um, so these will definitely be staying in my collection. I am looking to collect a pair that is maybe slightly longer so that I can cut the bottoms off, but I do actually really like these. The wash is so cute. This is my favorite wash of denim. I really like this color. And of course, Levi's just do an incredible, men's Levi's, I should specify, men's Levi's do this thing to your butt that just makes it look, in my opinion, so nice. Um, and it really does look cute at the waist, I think. It really cinches you in and just really emphasizes your hips. So I think that's cute. Um, I know some people might not, but I do. This is a pair that I believe is by High Sierra, which is a brand that I thrifted. This is, again, I believe a men's pant. Um, I'm pretty sure, let me see if this is the correct pair of pants that I'm thinking of, and I think it is. Yeah, these are the High Sierras. I actually um, DIY'd these, so I took these in at the waist, so this waist was not this snatched when I picked these up. I did fix it, and the but the butt is a little bumpy, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not great at sewing, so <laughs> don't leave me a diaper comment because I know <laughs> I have to fix them. It's okay. These are another pair of men's denim. Obviously, I have an obsession with men's denim. I have had this obsession since 2019. Um, so yeah, I have a lot of these in my collection. These are another pair of High Sierras, as you can see from the little brown tag on the back. These actually look super nice as is. I'm going to leave the hemlines. I'm going to leave everything. They snatch in at the waist really well. Pockets are obviously good. The butt looks great. I like the sort of baggy fit throughout the leg. I think this is a super trendy jean silhouette right now. I think we are seeing a lot of straight leg jeans um, and still, of course, that like super high waist is all I will ever accept in a jean, especially new jeans coming into my collection. I absolutely will never settle for a mid rise or low rise again. And I do like that these are a little bit long. Now, these jeans are super high rise. They are a button front. Um, these are by, I believe, a brand called Thread Monkey. I got these when I worked retail um, at the beginning of the pandemic, and they are super cute. I really like them. They are these boot cut slash, they were advertised as bell bottoms. These are not bell bottoms. These are boot cut jeans. Um, <laughs> no one can tell me anything. These are the pairs of jeans that my mom wore when I was in like elementary and middle school, and I remember wanting to look like her so bad, and I definitely do in these jeans. I like the wash that it's like this sort of mid wash with the lightning on the leg, the middle of the leg, and another jig. I hope you like that. <laughs> These are another pair of men's Levi's that previously belonged to a short king, possibly a teenager or a child, um, because as you can see, they are um, a bit short on me, even though I uh, cut and distressed them. Maybe I got taller. Did I get taller? I don't think I got taller. Maybe I'm just... I don't know, I just remember cutting these and them being the perfect length, and now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, wow, girl, you, you really like capri pants, don't you? Um, but I like these. These are my favorite pair of black Levi's jeans. Again, these are a men's pants, so the fit is pretty nice. Though I will say, these are oddly tight on the front, but not the back. You can see that gapping between my butt and the pants. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why these like cut into my stomach and yet are like literally inches away from my butt. I, it's, someone tell me, please help me. Um, these pants are thrifted. They are from Target originally, but I picked them up at a thrift store and they are my favorite pair of black denim jeans at the moment. Like I said, super into distressed jeans at the moment and I really, really love this pair. Um, they are super cute, super distressed. I really like them. They they feel really nice on my waistline. They don't like cut into me at all. I really like that. Um, and they are a nice length as well. And I like the somewhat straight leg fit of them. I feel like all my pants look like skinny jeans now that I'm filming them, but I swear to God they're not. Um, these are a straight leg, I promise you. See, they're not hugging the ankle. I just, <laughs> I don't know if you can really, um, take me seriously with all these dancing movements that I am doing. 
<laughs> I actually really like it. I think it's fun, and I think this would be a boring video if I wasn't dancing, and it would have been agonizing to film. It was agonizing to film, but um, it was a little better with the music and dancing. Obviously, you're not hearing the music that I'm listening to. I will link the playlist below. These are a pair of black denim pants, straight leg from the thrift store. Um, the brand tag was cut out of these, so I actually don't know what brand this is, um, but it's literally a basic pair of black jeans, so I'm sure that no one will be offended to hear that I don't know what brand these are. Um, they are super comfortable, super cute, and I love them, so um, these, are, these are new, actually. Um, and here I am, uh, giving up on life. <laughs> Um, this was about halfway through filming this, uh, probably like an hour and a half in. This took like two-ish hours to film, um, and by the end of it, I was uh, really fucking over it. Um, <laughs> so here I am, singing along to my playlist. Um, it was a villain playlist. Um, it was like a you're the villain but everyone loves you playlist, and it was really good. So here I am, uh, literally laying on my floor, vibing. <laughs> There's not much else we can say. Oh, here we go. Here we're getting up. Hi. This, um, these are my emo pants, okay? And I'm not getting rid of them. These are staying. I know. I didn't think that these would be staying. I put them on. I said, you're staying. You were, you were staying with mama because I know, I know in five, maybe, maybe fewer than five years, skinny jeans will be back in and I will be wanting these again. These are from The Gap, I believe. Yes, these are from The Gap. And <laughs> these are just this awesome gray and black sort of acid wash skinny jean with some black distressing, like the, 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 fibers have been like dyed black over. It looks like a rat bit my knee, which is cool. Um, I have three of those, so that's awesome. And I'm doing a super fun little dance in this one. Um, <laughs> um, I think I was listening to Maisie Peters, uh, the song that she has in the Birds of Prey soundtrack here. Um, so that is what made me do that. And this is a pair of blank NYC, um, these actually aren't denim, so I don't know why I'm showing you these in this video. I actually said that out loud as I was filming this. I was like, I don't know why I'm filming this pair of pants because these are technically not denim. They're not leather. They're made to look like leather, obviously. They are synthetic. Um, but I picked these up at Marshall's quite a while ago, maybe in the during the pandemic? I'm not actually sure when I got these, um, but they are super cute. Obviously, I'm keeping them. They are a little low-waisted for my taste, but I will keep them. These are leaving. These are going away. If I wanted black skinny jeans, I'm going to pick the emo ones. I'm not going to pick these. These are too low-waisted for my taste. They are, the, the rips are like too below the knee. I don't like these. These are going to be going away. Here's the thing. I was going to try on all the patterned ones. Um, I don't want to. <laughs> If you guys want a separate video on my patterned denim pants, um, go ahead and leave me a comment below. But I think that this video is getting a little too long. I have been filming for two entire hours now, but I do have quite the pile of things that can go into storage now because they are a smidgen too tight. Now, here's the thing. Once my herniation in my back heals, which hopefully it will, um, I plan on doing a lot of like running and walking again because it's something that I have dearly missed that is hindered by this injury. So I don't wanna necessarily get rid of my pants that are too small because if I do need them again, I don't wanna have to like buy them again when I have perfectly good pants and I own a storage unit. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to reorganize my denim collection for you guys. You'll see like a time lapse of it. Um, and I will show you the pairs that are going into storage for later because they are a smidgen too tight now. Um, I can still get them up my legs. It's more so just like the button that won't close. But again, if I'm doing a ton of running, I expect to someday need those pants again, so. <laughs> but I don't, I also don't want to make myself feel bad or make myself feel pressured to fit into them and keep them with all the jeans that do work for me and that do feel nice and good and fit 
comfortably. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reorganize my collection sans those pairs of pants and we're gonna see what it looks like together and I'll show you the pairs that didn't make the cut. All right, so here is sort of the finished look at the pairs that I am keeping reorganized back on the little shelf portion for you guys. I just wanted to show you guys sort of an up close look at the jeans that I am keeping. Also, let me know if you guys want me to try on the patterned pants for you guys. I'll probably do that on my own time, but because those are a little more unique, I'll probably um, keep most of them. And these are all the pants I'm getting rid of or putting into storage or whatever I'm doing with them, um, selling them, giving them away. I don't know. Um, donating them. I'm not really sure. Um, they all might keep them for a little while, for a couple, you know, years, and then if I still don't wear them, I will obviously get rid of them at that point. Um, but we will, we will see. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is a really successful declutter for me because I usually don't do that um, super successfully. So this feels really nice and good, and I am excited to have this part of my closet sort of situated. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in next week's video. Please subscribe if you liked this video, and let me know what kind of content you guys want from me in the future. Okay, thank you so much. I love you. Bye.